Banscombe. Banscombe, Bulgaria. And I'm staying in that building behind me there. And yeah, this is, this is Banscombe old time. First got to Banscombe about, about four months ago, actually. I've barely been here. It's nice, I like it. I like Banscombe. It's, it's still a contrast, this place. But today I'm going to go up the, the uh, Banscombe gondola. This is more traditional in the town. It changes a lot up there. So within the space of about maybe a half kilometer, maybe one case, something like that there, you go from the traditional town down there and arrive up in this way more commercial, way more upmarket part of town. And another equally strange thing, I don't know if you noticed, but we went past, on that road you go up and, and you, you go past two strip joints. Like, I mean, every ski town I've been to has strip shows, but I've never been to one that has dedicated strip buildings. This is a lot of five-star hotels up this end. This is the money end. This is where people that have cash come to. I'm not at this end. <laughs> I'm, at, I'm at the total opposite end. But yeah, that's the gondola there. I've heard a lot of really bad things about this gondola in winter. One hour queues, two hour queues even. I can't imagine we'll have that problem today, but uh, yeah, it's got a really bad reputation in the winter.
Spanish cuffs. <laughs> yeah, it's alright, it's alright. That, that looks, that looks like a decent one. I don't really know where I am. I've got, I've got no idea about the piece marks here. I've got no idea about the runs here. I don't know what the name of this is, but uh, a sweet little restaurant that I would imagine I'm going to spend some time through this winter. It's nice in summer though. By the way, Karua stuff. This is stuff. Uh, they, they make great snowboards as well, but they also make some really nice snowboards. Uh, heavyweight, top quality, obviously. And then we're going to take the ride back down, which takes another 20 minutes or something. I'm going to hate that ride. I, I know I'm going to hate that ride. It's exactly the same as Big Laban. It's very similar to Big Laban, this actually. Although, great to give you access to the world's biggest ski area. <laughs> but this one certainly is not. Um, But anyway, that was the uh, Bansko Gondola. If you look at most ski centres, the majority go from about a thousand to maybe two and a half thousand metres. And this place isn't really all that different. It goes from 990, I think it is, up to 2600, something like that. But it's kind of, it seems like it's almost two resorts in one because you've got this bottom section here, which is basically served by the gondola. There's another chairlift up there as well. Um, and then you've got the main area that starts about 1600. So realistically, you're going from 1600 to 2600, which is pretty standard, really, for your typical ski area. And then this is the ski road run, which looks horrendously flat. But yeah, this is Van School. It's nice. It's nice just now. I don't know what it'll be like in winter. It's good here, it's really good here. I like that, I like it a lot. And it's hot, about 30 degrees today. Never thought I would do a ski resort in summer, I must admit, I never, ever, ever thought I would enjoy a ski resort in summer. So that's a wee bit more of band school. I'm really not sure when I'll make another one of these, but I guess it depends if I do anything even mildly interesting over the next few miles. I'm not just going to walk around the streets all day, that's for sure. Anyway, thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, I have no idea when the next one will be, um, or what it will be about. So, but yeah, cheers.